My first guest, uh, you'll probably know him from the NBC uh, show, the uh, <laughs> Deal or No Deal. It's awesome. And uh, how we do it, of course. Uh, please welcome Canadian wonderkind Howie Mandel, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. See, I, 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 I did that thing because I know you've got a touch of the OCD about the yeah. contact, so yeah. I just did that. Instead. Well, I, I love that. I wish everybody, I wish that would just take off, that, that I, I, there was no more touching. Yeah, all uh, right. No more touching. You know, my wife usually feels the same way, too. No but more no, touching? No, but, <laughs> I don't but, know. You, I thought you were getting better with it. You, no, you I'm not. I have, I have OCD, and this whole the swine flu thing is. Oh, it must me. be driving you. Cause no, I actually, no, no. I actually what? feel... What? <laughs> what? Because, Whoa, what? No, I feel like the whole world. It's like a big I told you so. Now the world. Well, yeah, a little Last bit. time I was here, you had a little cough. A little and cough. And now look what happened. It blossomed into the swine flu. That wasn't, I'm not responsible for the swine flu. Oh. I didn't know. All right, so let's move on. No, but I mean, I, it's, it's like they're, they're telling you to wash your hands. They're telling you to wash your hands like crazy. Don't touch things. Don't touch. And now the whole world is living like Howie Mandel. It's <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Not many of us are carrying our things in our pants like that. No, this, is, this is great. Are this you is, choosing, no, choosing? they just gave me pants backstage. And somebody came. I didn't have any clothes. I come, I come to a show naked, and then I make a decision. Right. But anyway, somebody... <laughs> Somebody brought me pants, and this is the, I think it's the tag from the pants, but I'm going to leave it because it's a, a good napkin at the urinal. <laughs> you know, urinal seconds, napkins? The urinal napkin, that way I don't even have to touch myself. I just, a little <laughs> napkin. <laughs> it, brings, it brings a whole new meaning to wet nap. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just uh, choosing swatches for your... No, you know. <laughs> yes, for the drapes, the yeah, upholstery. Yeah. What I see is I see drapes. Look at this. Mm -hmm. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, listen, no. congratulations, by the way. Congratulations, you just got nominated for an Emmy. I did, I did, for, for... the uh, game yeah. show host. Daytime. Game show host. And, and I'll tell you something. I was just watching the show today. There's every day. It's syndicated every day. Check your local listings. I was watching myself, and I thought... <laughs> God, I am great. So it, it, what a coincidence that I was nominated and uh, hopefully uh, I'll win. What, I don't, what? What happened to you, man? <laughs> you never used to be like this. I, you know what? I got big-headed. I am. You I, got big-headed? I did. Because you, you were Canadian for such a long time. By the, the way, Toronto, there's a, there's a guy there. Yes, there. I know. He'll tell, he'll tell yes. you what Toronto is yeah, if you, you want. Was, that's the man who invented GPS. Yeah. <laughs> that's really? Gordon Peter Solomon. <laughs> yes. I know what everything is. Yes. Now, how can I help everyone? You know what made me big-headed? I have to tell you. I was talking. I'm not usually big-headed, but you're, uh, you have a producer who talked to me and, and uh, Ma well, Megan. She's oh, right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Yes. Megan's over there. And she yeah. talked to me yesterday, yeah. and she reminded me, you know, all the accolades we get and just the fact that we have a job, that's a big accolade. We, 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 we don't include me in your Emmy accolade <laughs> land. No, I said we have a job, right? If you, right. you have a show, there's a lot of people out there that don't even have a show. But that's a, that's a, that's a, aren't there? I don't what know are you what's, laughing at? Know, you don't have a show. <laughs> right? But I think they're laughing because apparently if you're unemployed, you get free bonus. I know. Pills, you know, right? I know why they're laughing. <laughs> Because I watched the beginning of the show and you told them to laugh because you said this was the worst show in the world. Yeah. Well, so that's why. So let's not talk about that. Let's change the subject. But I'll go back to the subject you were talking about. Why did I become so big headed? Oh, yeah. Why did you become big headed? Because of accolades. I'll tell you something. You get things in this business that nobody gives you. And I was talking to your producer on the phone and she reminded me. She saw me tell this story and it's a true story and she didn't believe it. She said, bring it in. You carry all your stories around in pamphlets. This is, I have form? a pamphlet story. I have a story. No, the pamphlet, because she didn't believe me. I talked about if you're in the West Valley, I'm not supposed to give the address. They don't want me to to plug it, but I will tell you, it's, what does it say? The waxing goddess. The waxing right. goddess, body waxing, yeah, it's right. a body waxing. Okay, look at this. Yeah. Tell me, tell me you don't get big headed when you, when you see this. Look at this, read that, read wow, that. Wow, look don't at that. Don't show the address. Yeah. What does that say? The Howie Mandel. You can, you can, uh... <laughs> For uh, the so ladies. Sure look, it's there. Yes. From 60 to 75 dollars, that's what gets me. Yeah. <laughs> but it depends on, it depends yeah. on the area you have to cover, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, ma'am, you have a huge lawn. Well, We're yeah. gonna have. <laughs> wow. You know, what, you know what also gets me? Like the instructions that they. I just read them. You made me pull this out. The instructions I read. Look at this. It says like it's gonna be helpful in case you're gonna be waxed. What Showering right before your service softens the hair and allows the hair to be removed with less discomfort. Now. If they are removing the hair there, you think it's to make it easier, or do you think the showering, there's a whole other reason why they want the shower? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. I don't think this is right. And number two, this is what bothers me a little bit, because I live in this area, and my son, who's 19 years old, is doing very well, and he's dating, and I can imagine at one point it would be very off-putting to get wherever he's trying to get and find his dad there. You don't want to... You, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. So you ask, you ask why I'm big-headed. I have, I have. You there. have a, you have a body waxing named right. after you. Most people go for a sandwich. Larry King has a sandwich. You know, <laughs> I mean. I have a taco. Yeah. Well, oh. Oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I love that. I just see there's some people in the front row. He's explaining it to her. Yeah. <laughs> I, what does that and, mean? And what does that mean? It's in Canada. <laughs> yeah, right. <It's> in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you were up in Vegas, I didn't see you. And now, that's Paula the, came to see me, you were with Paula Abdul. Paula came to see me backstage, came, and you went... You I was shooting How We Do It, and they, they set up the cameras, and in between scenes, I wanted to see your show, so every time, I, I would do my work, and then I'd run into the room and see my, you... My show? And to see your show, you, did, he's did hysterical. You buy a did, you buy a, did you buy a ticket? No, no, I'm... <laughs> do you know who I am? I have vaginas like this. I don't have to buy tickets. <laughs> but... No, I didn't, but he, you're, you're, you're hysterical. He's, if you get a chance at the MGM, you always play the MGM? Um, usually, the Hollywood yeah, Theater. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. get a chance and you're in Vegas or wherever he is, hysterical. I, I saw like six minutes and then I went out and worked for half an hour and then I came in and I saw another four minutes and then I, you know, it's very hard for me Th to... These are the best six and four minutes I do. The rest of the time is just filler. I just talk about waxing that's named really? after me and stuff like that. Do you yeah. like Vegas? Vegas is very I, hard for I, me. I, no, I, mm, I... Why? Oh, because of the cleanliness The cleanliness thing. Everybody's touching. touching. I'm yeah. touching. But I have fun because I'm not really around crowds a lot and that, you have to be around crowds. I was telling... This I do. I've done this with my wife a lot. It makes her mad but it's fun to do. I do this in malls with my wife but if you're if you're in Vegas, you know how it's really crowded in the casino? Yeah. I'll do this in the casino. I'll be walking through the casino, and then every so often, for no reason at all, I'll go, oh, oh like that. I do that. <laughs> which, which is, it's not that funny in itself, but I swear to you, if you're in a crowded casino, and you go, oh, like that, the guy right behind you, he'll do that too. And there's a great moment. <laughs> There's a great moment right when I come to a stop where he goes, what was it? And I go, I don't know. And then just, I do that a lot. They've asked me not to walk through the casino No, don't walk through the casino. No, so I go yeah, through yeah, the yeah. kitchen and I go to catch your act yeah, yeah. and I do that. But my wife, the family likes to come. We go there and we do shopping and the, and the restaurants and that. And, uh, all right, all right. You okay? Because <laughs> we're, we're done. We have, we have to go to commercial, but I just, I want you to let you settle before we go. <laughs> I've got, to, I've got to settle? Yeah, yeah. Just, just give me a second, give me a second, yeah, yeah, give me a second, yeah. give me a second. Okay, all right, go, go, go now, go now. Hi, Mondale, everybody, we, 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 we'll be right Welcome back, welcome back, and to our Norwegian viewers. Norwegians, praise to come later in post-production. <laughs> Wait a minute, how can you have post-production if you do the show live? Oh, ooh la la! No need for pixelation. My first guest tonight, well, here's a clue to who it is. Uh, wait, don't give it away. <laughs> he's written this very interesting, very, very interesting book uh, because he's a strange man. Uh, funny, funny, strange, complicated, adorable, all these things that I look for in a partner. <laughs> anyway, the book's called Here's the Deal, Don't Touch Me. It's written by a gentleman called... It's a, a New York Times bestseller now as well. Oh, I wonder what that feels like. Oh, I don't need to wonder. I know. <laughs> please, welcome, please welcome the very lovely Howie Mandel, everybody. <laughs> It's 
It's good to be here. It's lovely to see yes. you look very well. Uh, thank you. Author to author. Uh, yeah, and congratulations thank you. on the uh, New York the Times. New York yes. Times bestseller list. Yes, yes. And you're celebrating by going parachuting later, I yes. see. I, <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It's, it's just uh, fantastic, is it, what it is. I don't know what it is. It's just something, it's an ensemble. It's it's uh, it's, uh, it's a ninja. It's a fashion ninja thing that's going on. It's awesome. I'm a fashion ninja. That's yes. what I've been known as. When know. you think of ninja and fashion, you think Howie Mandel. I have always Tim Gunn, then Howie Mandel. I think in that order. Mm, yes. Sometimes. So, but this is very exciting. It's very you know, exciting. like you said, you know, for me, this is a whole new thing, it's... and I'm not thrilled. I wasn't thrilled to, you know, I got asked to write a book, and then I thought I'd have a funny book, and then it's, it's hopefully it is funny, but then I realized how oh, screwed yeah. up I am, and I put it there, and it's published, and I can't get it back. No. My book's very similar. I myself too in my book and I know you did it in oh, your book. Oh, I, I, I did it during the commercial break. <laughs> you did? Were, I, you a, were you a bedwetter as a child? Not in, in the bed, just out in public. Really? Yes, I have. <laughs> Why is that funny? I wasn't in the bed. Oh, they, they, listen, they love mental anguish. You should yes. have seen them when I, I showed know. them the monks the screen. They're like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I know. I yeah. am mental anguish. Yeah. Mental anguish is me. I, I, was, I have a severe ADD and as a kid, I would say, oh, I got to go to the bathroom and I go and then there'd be a little noise or something shiny and I'd be off that way and then uh, I wet myself <laughs> and I go oh, I forgot I had to go to the bathroom I would forget where I was going and I would just I would urinate all the time I would just always because I forgot and they'd this say, why didn't you go before? And I would say, I was. And then something came up. So I'm I... terribly alarmed for you. Why? Well, this is in Canada where you grew up. Yeah, so it was cold. So right, I would freeze. So freeze. Yes. Freeze. So I, I was always chipping icicles off yeah. my crotch. Oh. I was always... Oh, that's what... <laughs> Just chipping icicles off my crotch, <laughs> that's Mom. What, that's what uh. I'm doing. That's what, that's... Yeah, you're right. I didn't even think... But I would, I would... And then I didn't want the kids to know that that was the issue so that I would fall into the ditch. But the ditch was nowhere near the school. So, so I would have, have to, to run to the ditch. And they'd go, what happened? You fell in the ditch. And they go, the ditch is nowhere near her. here. I go, well, that's, that was quite a tumble. I fell yeah, yeah. here and then rolled and rolled and rolled. And then rolled go, onto a bus they, yes, they, and then took the bus to the ditch. Yes, but I didn't want to. I'd be in the ditch, and then I'd realize I'm in the ditch. I don't want the germs. So I would jump out of the... It was a mess. Oh, no, it's you, a whole you, book you, here. You, you had the germs even then? I had the germs all the time. Why are you I, worried about germs when you're in Canada? There's no germs in Canada. No, I just don't touch things. I don't, I right. don't touch things. Which is a problem, I have to tell you, for me, because I, and I think many other people, because when you come, you're very adorable, approachable man. Thank you. And so what I wanted to do is just go over and hug you and lick your head. No, and, no, no, no. And I want to go over and, and mush myself up against you. I want to, you know, get my saliva on you and stuff. And I, <laughs> Why do you want to do that? I don't know. It's just I can't, because I know you don't I want me to touch. do that. No, I, I don't I, mind. I don't mind the. Don't, you don't? No, 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 I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. that. I mean, but it's just the the face to face. Well, I you know I had children, so I I did a well, lot right, of. Right, right, right. But right. I just there was no shaking hands. I never went. Uh, <laughs> honey, you wanna? I never did that. I just it was. So it was, it's a deal then. We're going to have sex. Yes. Look, no, no hands. Right. Look, no oh, hands. You can, I can do it without hands. <laughs> yes. Cirque du Soleil are also from Canada, aren't they? Yes. Right? Yes. If you see me in a public restroom, it's like Act Two from any of those Cirque. You call it the Salai? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Cirque du Soleil. That's what I call it. Is it? Is it Salai? I thought it was Soleil. Soleil. It's Soleil. Salai. You say tomato. I, I'll listen, say tomato. I say, I'll tell you why I say Salai. Tell me why. Because that's how it's pronounced in Norway. <laughs> So, uh, on this special night. Hey, listen, bye. You know what salai means by in the Norwegian? Way, look what I got, by the way. Oh, you thank you. That's See? my, you know, I don't use that. Why not? I don't. And I'm not uh, disparaging, uh, they might be a sponsor, and I don't mean to. I but I used it so much. It, it's in my book. I used it when I had a talk show. Yes. I used to have an afternoon talk show. And, and I used to have that, and I had a, like a bucket. I would soak in it. And then my friend gave me, uh, uh, he's a surgeon. He gave me that surgical wash. I would do that every time like somebody came on in the commercial. And then I started getting warts all over my hands. And I didn't know. I went to the doctor, and the doctor told me that I had killed all my antibodies. You know, it's good to have bacteria on your hands. I had nothing. I had no So if I touched anything, I got like warts and horrible viruses all over my hands. So I don't, I don't use that anymore. Like, it's like it's more healthy for me. Now I just don't touch anything. So instead of this, I'm just hands free. Everything is hands free. I, I try, you should see me drive. Like, like with the, the steering wheel. Why don't, you, why don't you wear gloves? I do. 
I you have know, gloves. Wear I wear gloves. And driving masks. gloves with the, the, you know, they used to have the driving gloves with the little thing in the back. You look like James Bond. Kind of like, well, I will drive. Chicks. I'm, I'm you know, in, <laughs> and you can see chicks if you wear driving gloves. No, I wear, I wear rubber. I have, I have rubber. Gl <laughs> <laughs> I have rubber gloves and I have masks. I am hermetically sealed. I have a hazmat suit. I have everything. I actually, it's not a joke, it's what I do. I do. When the family's sick, when the family is sick, I have to dress up. Do you get, do you get? Look how uh, I got, it got uh, awkwardly quiet for yeah, just no, a second. Yeah, no, I think everyone was kind of like, oh. Now they no, just feel no. bad. Do you get uh, vaccinations? Uh, no, I can't go to the doctor's office. Are you talking about like the H1N1? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the chances that my book would come out in the midst of this pandemic? You're on a book tour. You got all I these know. people going, How I loved you ever since the beginning. Right, right, right. And, and you know what I'm I say? not going to do it. So and I'm not, I'm not plugging. I'm not, you notice I'm on television right now promoting my book, but I'm not telling you where I'm doing signings. And if you know where I'm going to be, don't show up. That's, <laughs> I don't want them to show up. You know what? If you want to... I won't say the dates. Yeah, they're they, they they're really mad. They, they you know don't what? go. No, I don't. I have to go because that's contractually. I tweet. I, I, I'm on Twitter. How right. are you, Mandel? I'll talk to you. Just don't come near me. Don't touch me. <laughs> Buy the book. I'll talk to you. I, 140 characters. We can have a conversation. Right? Do you tweet? No. No. That's the no. only way. That's for me. That's with the new my, clean way do of With my fans is I get up. I lick their heads. No, I, uh, no. I get all in. I go like that. Give no. them noogies. Yeah. <laughs> You well, I've what? already got I... one fan, and he's a dog. So that's what I do. Really? Yeah. Do you I'm have a dog? Do, uh, my, my wife has dogs. I don't touch the dogs, but she has them. What kind of dogs? Uh, uh, a rescue. She has a, uh, I don't know. They're that's like not much... an actual breed of dog, you know. I... <laughs> but you know what she said? She rescued it from a homeless woman downtown. She rescued What do you mean dog... rescue? You mean she stole it from a hobo? <laughs> She stole the hobo's car? Yeah, and she saw me. It's my only consolation. No! <laughs> my husband's Howie Mandel! <laughs> and she's fascinated by the fact that it's, that it's housebroken. I go, it's never been in a house. That's, right. that's, the only way it's, that's why it's outside. It sees carpet. It won't go on carpet. Right. Concrete. What is this strange bottom-threatening fiber? Right. Yes, right. that's what the dog's thinking. Oh, that's what the dog's thinking. Yeah, I, I thought you were getting a weird feeling and you were thinking... I... <laughs> Whenever you're here, I get a weird feeling. That bottom-threatening fiber feeling? I do. My really? bottom twitches when I meet you. <laughs> oh. Oh. You said we could talk about anything because we don't touch. Yes, but I don't want... It's bothering me. I'm a little... I, I feel very uncomfortable right now that your bottom is twitching. It's not twitching anymore. Oh, stop. No, it stopped twitching around 1973, actually. You said when you meet me, your bottom twitches. You didn't know me in 1973. Didn't I, Howie? <laughs> ah, the book. That <laughs> other child in the ditch, that was me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. A stellar Please. book, a strange and wonderful tale. Howie Mandel, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome his dangerous and terrifying Howie Mandel, everybody. It's just, uh, it's just great to be here in the studio. In the, in studio. the studio. studio. <laughs> to it be is. fair, though, yes. you just, that song that she wrote, it's in my head now. I yes. mean, I'm like, it's studio, studio. You studio. never know. There's going to be superstars launching out of America's Got Talent. It, there are. But before I talk about that, and we will, and that's why I do sure, these shows to plug yeah. it. I just want to say. Tired. I'm tired. You can talk about it. You're down but like, I'm fascinated. Yeah. Seriously you fascinated like the about the, the shark week that, that you actually swam with sharks. Because I'm also, I did a, I was, I, I walked with caterpillars, which is not the same. But, and I don't have, I, had I known, I would have brought the pictures, but you're right up, it doesn't sound like much, but when you're right up close, you can actually feel a little bit, I felt like fuzz, I felt like, I, I, I was wearing shoes, but I mean, right up to them, and in the briefing before the- Whoa, wait, wait, wait. The, what? Are you mocking me? Ay, caramba! <laughs> you mocking me? I cannot, I, no, I- you I'm I'm me. not mocking. I couldn't. You're mocking me because I swam with sharks. I, you know what? You I... Canadian. Ow. <laughs> what the? You can't come out here and 
Look at that, man! I know, that's amazing. You know, I actually tried. I actually, I was in the Bahamas. I'll tell you a story. I was in the, this is a true story. I was in the Bahamas and I saw people, they all, I, are you, you were obviously, uh, what do they call it, certified? Yeah. Yes. So I Certifiable, I think yes. you went into that. So I saw these people talking about the gorgeous colors and the water and the, the ocean. They came out with their tanks and I said to my wife, I said, I want to, I want to, I'll try that. I'll try that. But yes. you have to be certified. I was not certified. So do you know where they train you? Yeah, there. In the pool. Yeah, in the pool. In oh, the, pool. the germ thing. Uh, yeah, no, no. So I mean, the, the guy goes and I rented. He gave me a wetsuit. He gave me a weight belt. He gave me the, the yeah. tanks and everything. And I'm in the I'm in the pool. Yeah. I'm in the swimming pool. Yeah. I, I wanted to see beautiful tropical fish. You're sure, I'm seeing fat people from the waist down. I'm not <laughs> seeing any. Hey, that's beautiful to some of us. Some all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you find see see the beauty in everything. And then you get to the water and you go, oh, okay. But I felt like okay. an idiot. Okay. There's four-year-olds with floaties, and I'm wearing this whole sea hunt gear. And yeah. I said, why do I have to wear it? Like, why do I wear the wetsuit? He said, it's to stay warm. I didn't know anything about, I'm wearing it. He says, it's to stay warm. And I told him, I said, I am, I'm, I'm cold anyhow. I felt cold. I felt cold. The water got in and I felt cold. And you know what he, you know what he told me to do in order to warm myself? Pee pee. In myself. Sure. I would never. I, I said, do I, that here in this studio. I just did it right there. Yeah. I said to him, I you said know, to him, it's number a, it's one. It's a little chilly, hold on. No, 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 no. no. You know how You're talking to a guy that can't shake hands. Oh, I'm wearing the suit. I wouldn't do it in my suit. And 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 besides that, this is your suit. I rented this suit from you. I will not. And I'm wearing it. And he said, don't worry, everyone does. Oh, 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 oh right there. Oh, no. oh. I got, I got, it's all I got, right, I don't. Look at that. Don't worry, everyone does that. <laughs> I wet myself. I actually wet myself. Right. Harry, I don't want you panic. I'm, I can I, see you're spiraling down, man. Let no, it go. I was. It's all right. So it's that all was right. my last time. I, I wouldn't put on the suit. I took off the suit. I spent a week in my room sandpapering myself. It's As I right. sit here on this show, I have no nipples. I was so freaked out by that. So I just commend you for being able to just even put on the suit, let alone go down to the it's, sharks. It's my suit. That's why from now on, I walk amongst the caterpillar. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. Caterpillars are very dirty. You feel Leave bad. It. Don't worry I about the mess. mess down there. I it's all right. I, but look at what I did. What is the next guest going to think? I hope she's watching the monitor because <laughs> Howie Mandel was on and then she comes out and there's a big wet spot. How, how, that, that's the rules of show business. If you're second guest, you have to sit in a wet spot. That's what it is. That's the way show business is. I love that. I love that. Hey, but I, yes. tell well, me about the show. Come on, you're okay, the new America's guest. America's Got Talent. Yeah, I, yeah. New, I love it. I love it. It is so exciting. It is so great. It's on every Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday on another network that you spit. It's a nice network. No, I'm sorry, it's just a habit I have. No, it's oh, a oh, just a tick. Yeah, yeah. I spit. A, yeah. But I travel. I've been traveling a lot. I uh, One of my uh, cohorts is uh, Sharon, Sharon Osborne. Sharon Osborne, yeah. Sharon, I travel. Did somebody just drop their keys? Yeah, somebody yeah. dropped their keys. So, <laughs> sometimes it sounds like a pause, but it's really just people dropping their keys. <laughs> So I've been carpooling with her. I've been carpooling. We fly all over the country. And you know, I won't fly. Uh, you fly in a car? No, I won't fly. <laughs> you chitty chitty pool. bang bang? A oh, pool. me and Sharon <laughs> flying around the country doing stuff. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Howie and Sharon, they'll judge you. <laughs> That's awesome. But I scared her. She's mad at me now. Why is she, she, mad, she mad at me now because I scared her? I fly it private because I don't well, want you the got the germs. germ thing and you're the rich. germ thing. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Well, so so the, I but she didn't want to come with me on the plane because she asked how old the plane was and the plane was more than 30 years old and she's concerned about being in. But I talked her into it. Right. And then when we took off, I told the pilot that she was really nervous. So I had the pilot. Once we leveled off, he came out and he went. Does anybody have like a rubber band and a piece of tape? <laughs> And then, and then he came, he went back into the cockpit and you hear like banging and, and then he comes out and he goes, I need like a hair clip. And, and Sharon is just sitting there quiet and, and I noticed she started to tear up a little bit. So oh, I, had to, on, I had to tell her it was just a, it was just a joke. I was just <laughs> kidding. But now it's fun and it's changed my life, you know, because I judge now yeah. that I judge people, yeah. you know, up until 
this year, people would come up to me and go, deal or no deal. That's what they would say to me. Right, right, right. And now, like I was in the elevator, I was in the elevator like two days ago someplace, and he, nor, the guy started whistling, then he hummed, then he broke into a song, and then he's dancing. It's like everybody's like auditioning. Oh, auditioning. They yeah, audition, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, so it's like a whole dance number in the, in the elevator. And the elevator's a tough place for no, me. That's a hard place for I you don't to like be, it. all that joke. Can't you get a private celebrity elevator? I mean, there's no But you know, know what like I do when it's crowded? You know what, what I do when it's crowded? In an elevator because I don't want people up against me. Yeah. I just stand quietly and smell my finger. People that's, move away. That's the way to do it. They move. They move. <laughs> what is that? That is. It. People, people always say. We're, we're, we're out of time, Harry. We're out of time. We can't. We can't have you smelling your finger anymore. So that's it. So people who are just tuning in now, they see me smelling my finger, and there's a big wet spot. What is this? Okay, America's Got Talent. It's on uh, tomorrow night. Watch it tomorrow night at tomorrow nine, night, yeah. and then Wednesday night at nine. Watch me. I'm terrific. I, 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 it's a terrific I, I, show. I, 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 Are we out of time? Yeah, yeah, we're out of time. Hi, Mandela, everybody. Welcome back to the Welcome back to the Countdown to Paris uh, show. My first judge tonight, my first judge tonight? No, what I meant to say. My first guest tonight is a judge. I wonder if he'll let me approach the bench. He's a judge on America's Got Talent. Uh, it's on Tuesdays and Wednesdays on the NBC. Take a look at this. I'm doing fantastic. You know, I, I have to say, I know that you you're not mucking around. You really don't like people touching you. You got to no, think about no, it. No, that, that guy was, was the, really touching. He your was head. touching me, and I had like a panic attack. But I and then I went home and I talked to my therapist. And he, your not, therapist? Why do you live, that? Does he live in your house? Your therapist? Well, pretty much. He really? might as well. I yeah. bought him his house based yeah. on the amount of times that I've gone there. And and uh, now I'm even more medicated than I was last week. <laughs> I Are you have, medicated? I am. I'm totally medicated. Really? I really? As we speak, I am medicated. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> but I know that you're, you're in here. a happy place. I yeah. am. I am. Yeah, yeah. Place. I am, and they, congratulate Paris. When you say Paris, are you talking about France or California? There's no, a, no, no, France. No, oh. France. The place in France where the naked ladies dance. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. That's I'm go so amazing. Yeah, yeah. and it's so it's so much culture and so much. Yeah, we're not going to do any of that. No, okay. we're not. I'm going to Paris, man. I'm well, going to see naked ladies dance. Wow. And, yeah. so, and this is next week. You'll be there taping. Unless this is a rerun, in which case I was there a few weeks ago. <laughs> where was I? Uh, you were here. Oh, right. But and you, you were, were so heavily medicated, you didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> so if I was here and you were in Paris, who am I talking to? Conan O'Brien, come on! <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah! But, but uh, France is such a classy place and such a cool place. Why did you book me this week rather than next week when you were in Paris? Like, why, who do you choose is going to Paris? Like, how do you get, I'm in- Kristen Bell is going. Kristen Bell is my I guess. see yeah, why you, you made the saying? choice. I you know do see what you're saying. You know Jean Reno, he's going to be one of the guests as well. He's that French movie star. You can touch him if you want. I don't want to. I don't want to touch no, him. No, but he, he doesn't mind. He's like, yes, touch me, of course. He's like, yeah. they all say that in France, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they like to be touched. Do you speak French? Oui. Un petit peu? No, no. Un uh, big peu. <laughs> In a big, in a big pool. I don't, I don't speak any French. You, you know, no, you're I Canadian travel. by. I am uh, Canadian, but we both have become. You know, I got my American citizenship. Oh, congratulations! In the, in the well same done, year, yeah. that, and, and, and this weekend, I just went to. I just came in from Washington. I was just in D.C. Really? I love D.C. Yeah, and I got like a private, to get touched there. Yes, yeah, yeah, I got. I read that. I, I mean, oh, they yeah. don't get touched. No, yeah, they yeah. just tweet. Uh, they just tweet their underpants. Right. Yeah. They don't. It's not touching. <laughs> Didn't, didn't is that was that was that the kind of thing that you like because you don't like to be touched? You just tweet that's what we did. That's I tweet my underpants, and my wife will tweet her panties back to me, yeah. and then apparently we have kids. That's it's yes. amazing. That yes, you're, I know your kids do. Okay. I have three kids. They're all doing great. Can't wait for Father's Day. They're all going to be DNA tested to find out how many are Schwarzeneggers. Yeah. But you know, that's, it is. That's true. But I got a. Uh, 
I got a private tour of the White House. Have you been? You've been in the White House. I know you no, did that. They don't you ask did that me press corps dinner. You didn't do the no, White House. No, they didn't invite me. The White. I got to go to the hotel nearby and uh, you know no. give us. I was in the, the White House. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so well, cool. You. If you yeah, get a good, chance. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And but you're not allowed to. You want to. You want to see some of the. You're not allowed. To, normally, you're not allowed to take pictures, right? You because pictures. A, you're not allowed. I did, but you're not allowed to. What are you looking? Where, I'm looking where, for the pictures. Where? Where? Why are would I have put them there? Why would I? <laughs> no, because I did bring pictures, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should have had them there because that's where you looked. No, I brought them. You're not allowed to take a camera into the White House, so I brought. I brought. I got. You know, when they weren't did looking. Did you draw pictures? Yes, oh, a lot of them. 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 I did. Yes. Yeah. This is the. What camera do I? Uh, try, I should, try that one over there. Try that one. Yeah, yeah. This one over here. Yeah. Okay. This is a. Uh, <laughs> This is the blue room, and oh, it was yeah. a, there's a beautiful painting right here, and and it's uh, and there's windows, and they had the chair. I mean, when you're there, that's, you know, that's, you see it on TV, but when you're there, no, wait, 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 I no, 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 I like it, no, 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 okay. I like it. We're gonna put it up on the refrigerator, Howie. Okay, but there's more than that. Look at the next no. one. The next one. Look at that. That's where the State Department, where they have the steak dinners. Look at the chandelier in this room. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Here, take a show to the another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, all right. That, uh, th that's, that, a, uh, that's Michelle Obama's garden. I looked right out the window and I snapped the uh, picture of the garden. Yeah, and what's this one here? You know what? I don't, I have no idea what this is, but it looks like that and I just have to get a picture of it. <laughs> Well, I, I think the Secret Service will have something to say about but these got, extremely well, accurate plans of the I White know. House. <laughs> but I, you know, I love, I love, I love photography. Sketching. Well, sketching, sketching. I don't like photography. I hate getting my picture taken. It makes no sense to me. I don't you, understand. You don't like getting your picture taken. You don't like to be touched, and you're in show business. You're an idiot. <laughs> well, you're not taking yeah, any you, pictures you, tonight, are you? You're not taking any pictures. You're not touching me. Wait, this is being recorded. Yes. <laughs> Many of the people in this crowd would like to touch you. No. No, they wouldn't. Wouldn't that be weird? Yeah. But you know what? Unlike, you know, on other shows, and I don't know that they could see this here, but you have, there is a railing between the audience. It's yeah, like, yeah, you got It's be like careful. your audience, you don't want to, you don't want to feed them, you don't no, want them to come. No. Like usually, I do a lot of shows, and you yeah, go, yeah. and you've done a lot of shows, and so? you'll, there'll be a stage, there'll be like, like this, and there'll be the cameras, and then there's seating. Yeah. In this particular audience, people can't see it at home. There's an actual bar. Oh yeah, there's no, an you actual. Do you have a problem with people trying to break through? Yeah, and, yeah. And touch big problem. Yeah, people because try to go here. Can you try... see the bar? Look at look. There's a yeah. lady, that lady's trying to get yeah. out. <laughs> They're trying to get out. Don't yeah, touch. I the bar. Now listen. Yes. I want to talk to you about the America's Got Talent show, and yes. here's why: because okay. the three judges on the show. Yes. You're the only American, and you used to be Canadian. Right. Well, no, Sharon's also got her citizenship. Oh, she has. Yes, but okay. I, I, I contend that you know it's better and easier to judge from the outside looking in, than from the inside looking within. Does that make any sense? No, you know what I mean. If you had a problem with your relationship, you would. Oh, <laughs> Howie. No, but I you, don't know. You would go this. to a therapist because you want a third party. Why? How's an American? You see, American uh, Americans have to go to a therapist to find out what's entertaining. No, I find out what's wrong with it. Did I say that? No, kind of. Again, I twisted your words. I'm going to readjust my medication because <laughs> I, I didn't think I said that. No, you didn't say that. I, didn't I say adjusted your words so that you kind of might have said it maybe later. <laughs> Does this, does this run live or do you edit this? Is this going to make any sense? Why edit this gold? Just let it go on. Let it go on. Really? Why edit it? I have not. This is going fantastic. It is. I, I believe that I have a good eye for talent. But you know what I'm spending more time doing this year is well, bothering Piers. Piers Morgan. Have you had him on the show? No. Yeah, don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, he just, he, he just, the fact that I exist seems to irk him. Really? Yes. It might not be that. It might just be because he's English. You might just think that. Maybe he's just got, you know, he's a problem with intimacy. He has that Hugh Grant thing, that kind of, uh, I, I don't know, yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, you're, you're right. It might be that. He might really like you, but he, but he doesn't takes know it how out to on express me. his no, feelings. He calls you know. me names, and, he's, and, then, and all last year, and it started to irk me, so I decided to make him an honest man this year. He's called me the most annoying man in America, and I spend every waking moment trying to to be the most annoying man. And I, I have, last night, on last night's show, I lock him in his dressing I, I, This wasn't part of the show, but they showed it. I took the soda machine and I pushed it in front of the door to his room when he was in there. And then, and then, and then. That's nice. It is nice. Yeah, and then they said, like you know, three seconds, we're on the air. And he couldn't. Yeah. He couldn't come out That's on nice. the air. And then I do that. Hey, and hey, hey, whoa, no. What? What? Nope, nope, nope. What? No, 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 no
Oh, okay. No, no, well, we I have, have get... another story. You do whatever you no, have no, to no. do. I'm going to tell. And then there was a right. time. I'm not going to stop it because you I'm just, I'm just getting set up for the no, end. No, whatever. You, no, you can. You can I'm just going to continue tell, telling stories, and I'm not going to stop. Why does? Just because I got things to do, it's not up to you when I'm finished my story. You can go to commercial. <laughs> There was the other time when sometimes when he hates an act, I will put the act. I will some sometimes when when it, there's an act, I will take the act and and purposely put them through and leave them in his dressing room just so that he will be annoyed. Oh, and then there was a time on ADT. This is the, my favorite story whatsoever. That he took Please welcome Harry Mandel. Good to see you. What you uh... Okay, well, first of all, uh, um, uh, Sarah, my, they have a producer given to each, and she said, uh, you know, they don't like, they, they don't like when the guests bring out. You props. mean, Le you mean Lisa? Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't called her Lisa all day. You but called anyway, her Sarah all day. I called her she Sarah. She didn't tell you that because you're home and down. Because Canadian. I was focused on. She right, said they right. don't like props. You come out and talk. No plan. No props. But right. you tell me no. Oh, well, that, you've shown said, me. You're, it's almost like you're deconstructing my I, deconstruction. I am. Well, in fact, I saw the ending of the show, and I thought, I missed me. Yeah. <laughs> Was I good? No, because sometimes no, I'll, go home, I'll go home and watch the show after I'm on, and then I'll, you know, I'll try to stay up, and then I, I, I see the monologue, yeah. and then I fall asleep, and then I wake up, it's the end of the show, right. and I missed me. And I was actually here for the taping, no, you were great. and I thought that happened here. You were great. I know what was fantastic. You didn't bring out anything that you found backstage. I when did. You were well, here. Well, this is it. I started a new hobby. No. I start, yes, I started taking pictures. All right. And that? I have taken these from the dressing room. Ah. That's the... Uh, that's yes. very nice. Yes. That's very nice. Yeah. So I took that. Yeah. This is... That's lovely. And on the way in... Whoa, well, look at that. That's so right. in the dressing room. This was yeah. in the hallway. This is you and Regis. I saw oh, this see that. in the hallway. Yeah. That's yeah. That. And I love this hobby. I'm going to keep doing it. So don't it's, invite uh, me over because I'll take your pictures. <laughs> so that's it. I'm a picture taker. What? I am now a picture taker. What are you looking at? His hands? Yeah. Look. One on the knee and one on the side like no, this. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm looking at Has How many got, fingers? He's got like six fingers on there's each hand. There's a lot of fingers. He's like, it's almost like, look, yes. there's one, two, three, four. You know two. there's another two around there. <laughs> He has more fingers. You know what? They're probably false fingers. He probably has false fingers. Why? Uh, because that's what Hollywood people do. You see, yeah, that's women, true. They get... women have fake breasts, and a lot of the men have fake fingers. <laughs> that way, to now, feel honey, far be for me to suggest breasts. anything, but why would a man want a fake finger? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. People do strange things. People have my. Uh, I don't know why they'd want. All right, tell me about the to show. Enhance. Right? Tell me about. Tell me about the show. Tell Mopped. me about the show. Yeah, yeah. Mop. Is you this a show about last Mop? week? But actually, to, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, that's going to repeat at eight o'clock, and then nine. There's a new one. You know what we're doing on the new one? Let me tell you about the new one. The new one. Okay. <laughs> No, but these, are, you know what a flash mob is, right? People yeah. break into spontaneous... Flash things. themselves. Everybody runs out and shows their junk. <laughs> that would be... That's a flash mob. That would be mob. great. That look look at my mob. penis. Let's stand. Yeah, yeah. But why do you have one, one ball? One testicle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but which one? Which one? Uh, is it the, do you have one testicle? No, no, I don't want to make fun. Of, I don't want to make fun, but it... Oh, well, you would make fun of me if I have two testicles, but if I have one, I'm suddenly... <laughs> need your sympathy, buddy. I have precision balance. Yes, good at skateboarding. Right? Uh, one hi. ball. Mm. <laughs> it's like a gyroscope down there. Mm. <laughs> a rudder. A rudder. A rudder. It's, yes. like, it's like some kind of steering mechanism. I'm older. I'm not aware. Do, on, on New Year's Eve, I went to Times Square and watched my balls drop. <laughs> Fair. All <laughs> yes. right, so, so what's happening? The, the, the so they break into dance. I saw that on, the, on YouTube, and I said, why don't I make this into a show? So if you have a secret that you want to convey to somebody that will change their life, we take them to a public place, and, the, and a thousand people break out into dance and music, and that's how you learn the secret. But, but the most, how, how, you, you so don't, the, you don't like being around that many people, Not do me. You? They do. I'm just a host. <laughs> you see, I'm with one or two people. I'm just a host. But right. on Wednesday, a, a woman got pregnant, didn't tell her mother, Okay. Right. She had the baby, did not tell her mother. I see. And now the baby is six years old. He wants to tell her mother. <laughs> Let's dance. Yeah, that's... 
That's on at nine o'clock on Wednesday. I mean, it's it's funny, but it's emotional and it's dangerous yeah, to, yeah, for it's, a child uh, to do. Wait, maybe perhaps a little bit emotionally irresponsible. But it's entertainment. Well, there you are. Now. This show is emotionally irresponsible. Yes, and you're that's enjoying true. it. Yes, yes, I have a nice. But the only people harmed here are the studio audience. That's right. <laughs> And during the show, I tweet live at Howie and Mandel. I noticed you tweeted today. You tweeted. I tweeted you. Called you. Me an adorable shaved Canadian. A shaved Canadian, not you, buddy. Share your sneeziness with. I didn't nah, appreciate nah, that. Nah, it was a joke. I was going to pretend that I was ill because I know it kind of freaks you out. But I did have shingles. Did you really? Yeah. 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 Ah. Wait, isn't that just roofing? I, I, I had that too, but I also had shingles. It, that's it, like chicken pox. Oh, it's painful. Yeah, it's horrible. Is it here? That's from eating it's meat. It's not here. You're not supposed to eat meat, right? That's, you're not supposed to eat meat or protein. That's what how you the hell? Shingles. If I can't eat meat or protein, then I would, I'd end up like that. <laughs> Mind you, you do look very well. Are you on some kind of strange Hollywood diet? Yes, I did a sit-up two days ago. Whoa. And I'm about to do another Congratulations. One. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sit up, man. You want to, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> you done? Yes. Right. Okay. So, um, listen, America's got talent. Yes. New, new judge. You Howard got, Stern. Yeah, Howard Stern. See, George that's a bit of class. First of all, he's American, which yes. is great because yes. he's the first American judge yes. on Americans Got Talent. And I think that's important. And the second, <laughs> and the second Howard. So there's two Howards and an Osborne. Oh, Somebody yeah. said that's like H two O. And you can't live without H two O. So you can't live without America's Got Talent. You're kind of like a promo machine. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Now, listen. Mobbed on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even on. It wasn't a good machine. It wasn't. Yeah. Was Here's the online. rule of thumb. Go for the camera you think's not working. That's your best bet. I did the promo, and then it turned on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you should have been here earlier when I did the music cue thing. That was awesome. I saw it. I saw it. I was watching the show. I thought you had missed it. You fell asleep and then I you only saw the I end. Oh, the I see. Yeah, yeah. It's like PBS. Probably, it probably... Uh, not as easy as it looks, it isn't it? Isn't. Uh, <laughs> no, we well, did I don't all. play where you have to do all three letters. Just one. That's how I play. <laughs> I'm Canadian. There's 20% less of a game. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Yes, it does. Does it? change like money. Let me explain. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'll be here all week. Yeah. <laughs> we have to take a... Welcome back, everybody. I'm talking to I'm talking oh. to Hi Mandel. We're talking about Howard moving on. This to the... is not like when you're here live. I just want to say that at home they probably saw a whole commercial. <laughs> here we were just gone. Yeah. We were gone for like, a sec. Yeah. Then they went commercial and now we're back. <laughs> I didn't have a chance yeah, to yeah, pee. Yeah, yeah. la with your mind, man. <laughs> man, I wish I just got back from vacation, so I am. Don't uh, try that talk show Crikey. with me, buddy. <laughs> I just got back from vacation. I just bought a house. Uh, forget it, buddy. That doesn't bug it. Wash hair. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. No, I'm saying I'm not quick yet. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not. I thought you were going to tell me about your vacation. Have you just come back from vacation now? Oh, <laughs> talk show. Tootsie Fruitsie. Hey, hey buddy. Mom, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, so I heard you just bought a house. <laughs> yes, and if I buy four more, I get a hotel. Hey! Yeah. Now listen, I'm very excited about, you know, you know I'm a fan of Howard Stern. Maybe you don't know, but I, I didn't am. Know. No, you just I, said it, I, and I, now I know. Now you know. So I'm excited to see him on America's Got Talent so because, because I why? think he'll be ruthless, but also enthusiastic if he sees something he likes. And honest. Yes. And enthusiastic if he sees something he doesn't like. I yes. love honesty on that show. And you know what's, uh, what I love about it even more? I love the controversy. I love that people are so up in arms about yeah. whether they're excited about having him or they think that it's the wrong thing. At least 
least there, you know, it's 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 polarizing, and I think that's important. You can't watch also TV. in sunglasses. You want to have that in sunglasses. <laughs> polarized. That's important. That is because important because the, UV the rays glare, the glare, could burn your eyes. Yeah. If you ruin an eye, you could lose a ball. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> One eye, one testicle. You know that song? One eye, one testicle, keep moving. One eye, one testicle, keep moving. I don't know that song. I just made it up. I love it. I love it. Now, if you have one testicle and you're wearing a kilt, mm. is, there, is there any... Yes, less, less fabric. <laughs> what is that thing? What do they call that thing that they hang in front? Uh-oh. Come on now. Come on. Come on, hey. Come on. High five. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna beat that! Come yeah. on! I knew it was called that because I used to just I used to just scribble them like I used to draw them on pieces of paper. That was you? That was a little like you did go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't let him say that either. <laughs> will you? Yeah, it was funny though. It was my funny, grandmother, yeah. my grandmother loved Scotland. She went to Scotland. Oh yeah, my yep. grandma loved it too. My grandmother is no longer with us. My grandma has also gone off to not Scotland. Really? My grandmother, one thing I remember is she had huge feet. And you know was what? Was she a clown? No. But you know what they say. <laughs> it was true. Was it funny? She had a massive vagina. Oh, he can say that, but you can't say. What's the coming to How do you want to wrap it up? Uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, big cash prize. Big cash prize. Big prize. cash prize. What time is it, Jesse? It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Okay. 50 American dollars. What, that's, yeah. what camera is working right now? I have no idea. That one. Uh, 50 American dollars. You can win it in any number of ways. You can okay. answer a question. You can guess what's in my box. Or you could uh, perform some kind of act. I want to answer, answer a question. I really would like to answer a question. Okay, I'll ask I feel you. like answering a question. Okay, I'll ask you one. All right. Six. <laughs> Don't think I got that one. Okay. Uh, no. Velvety. Try, uh, try, um, here on. Uh, uh, all right. I've all answered right. two questions. All right. Try. And you have asked none. So I win. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Calm the Rocky down. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. <laughs> Which country was originally a penal colony for unsavory British citizens? What kind of colony? <laughs> what kind of colony? A penal colony. <laughs> That's real, you can't blog that out. Australia. Is the correct answer. 50 American dollars. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight is going, uh, America's Got Talent. He judges uh, the kind of talent Americans have, even although he's not one. The <laughs> show's on. The show's Well, I think he is actually. He's an American citizen, which is, you know, well, hey, that means I can judge other American. I'm an American citizen. I'm judging you right now. <laughs> America's Got Talent is on Mondays and Tuesdays on uh, NBC. Take a look at this. Hi, <laughs> Mandel, everybody. Hi, Mandel. Thanks. You guys know he's Canadian, right? Yeah. Look at that. You'll embarrass him. Thanks. What's going on, man? Sit down. Nah, I've been sitting all day. 
Sit down. No, we had it cleaned. We no, had it cleaned. No, it's not the dirt. I just, I've been, why do you have to sit? I've been sitting all day. You go to a party, you talk to people, you don't sit. I don't I want to I always want to have a seat. Well, okay, I'm going to pretend that I'm uh, a very small person that you met at a party. I don't want to sit. All right, I just, then. I just, well, I mean, Mandel, you're good. taller than I thought you'd be. No, I'm not. On TV. <laughs> You look a regular not, size, but you're a monster. Are they all this big in Canada? No, no, I'm just, you know, this is in the way, too. No, no. No, don't get, move this. I don't, don't, wanna, don't touch it with your I hand. Want, no, it's not that. I just want to, I don't want to sit. Is it bad that I stand? I just. No. It's not right, terrible. Stand you too, you yeah, stand, too. Yeah, yeah, right. So how you been? All right. It's good. Things have been good for me. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually, I don't know if you saw that episode where the guy had the, the puppet. Yeah. yeah that, but he had that thing on his shoulder. It didn't do anything. He had built, there was a tube. It's a, it's a had misdirect. It's a misdirect. Was that magic? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a misdirect. He puts a puppet on his shoulder and then you forget he's standing up. Really? <laughs> And I was also listening to your, I want to, another thing I want to talk about, there's no segue here. The spelling bee, I find it fascinating now that they have a six-year-old and kids aren't learning to spell because they're all doing the, you know what the kids are doing spell today, check, spell the, the spell check. So yeah. I assume, I was watching it because I was, I wanted like, the, the word is asterisk, spell asterisk, and there'd be some kid up there going, A-S- Ay caramba! Like it would just, you know how it, it finishes? He can that's a Canadian word, dude. Why, well, it's I a Canadian word. Old church people. Oh, yeah, oh. you swore in front of the church people. I'm a Jew. <laughs> Look at that. There's people. There's yeah, people that's, you're, I'm a I Jew. don't know that that's going to help. You're from the church, <laughs> and he's a boner. Is that what he said he was? What no, did he, I, he said he was a boner. Bo it, uh, church of Bonology. Church of Bonology. And yeah. each individual person is a... Bone. Er. I really hate standing up, Howie. You really, really? Me. Yeah, I don't like I'm it. not asking you to do it. All right, then. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I really... You want me to sit down? Well, I will. only I'll if you down. want to. I don't want to, but you're forcing it. I am. And it's your show. Your show. Oh, this is so much better. See? You know what? I've been sitting in planes. I've been flying back and forth now because of Howard Stern. You know, we're in New York, so I have to go to New York, and, and I sit well, You for have hours. to make the show in New York because Howard's doing the Howard show? Howard lives in New York, and he's got a radio show, and I just... That's what I do. I sit for five hours, and it's not fun for me. Sitting is not fun for me. And sitting... My wife comes with me, and she's not a good flyer, and that's not fun for me. You know what? <laughs> No, you want to, this is a true story. This is not a joke. Okay. She is really deathly afraid of flying. I she used to be. Uh, uh, and what did you do? I learned uh, how to fly. I got my pilot's license. So, that's <laughs> terrible. That, so now you know how to do it, but you're still terrified. No. Ah! <laughs> that's, that's actually part of the test. Really? What are you doing in an emergency? Ah! <laughs> yeah. Aren't you worried about the airplane? The airplanes are very dirty, Howie. They're, I they're very, I mean, even, I'm not, I'm not like you with the dirt, but I, when I go on the airplane, I'm like... You wear a mask, really, yes. for sure? I, well, sometimes. Really? If, I, if somebody's coughing, or I'll put on a mask. I have, I right. carry masks with me. Right. Yes, it's a very tough life for me. But I have to do it. I, you know, I do. I face my fears every you, day. You probably I, have, you have better money. You could get a private airplane. I have money. I still have the money you gave me. I, last time I was on the show, yeah. you, I won the, uh, the... $50? I won the $50. All and right, I, big I cash. touched it. It's like brand new. It's crisp. I like new money. Oh, no, we give it out in quarters now. You I were here. Touch it. I won't touch that. <laughs> Why? Because I don't touch change. I won't touch change. Wa money, paper money, I can wash. Right. Like if my, like the night That's money laundering. You can go to jail for that. <laughs> Are you a citizen now? Yes. All right. I did right. the same thing as you. All I, right, I, yes. Yeah, they, they sang that Lee Greenwood song. We went yeah, down yeah. to the... I'm proud to be an American. I'm free to go and free. Were you the only one speaking? Uh, everybody was crying, but I was the only one speaking English. And the whole... Were you the... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody was proud. I go, isn't this great? They go, ke, ke, ke. <laughs> We're Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all Americans. It was a very moving ceremony, though. I, I loved it. No, we stayed in one place. Uh, you see, you see, I see what, see what you, you did. did. I see what you did. Thank you. I'll be you here. You took the word, and then you moved it into a different area. What did I move? The, the word. The word. Uh, yeah, but anyway, the I meaning came, of the word. But the I, meaning of the word. But you keep your British or your Scottish citizenship? Well, it's there. <laughs> But you do, right? Yeah, but like when you, you become an American, you have to say, well, you know, look, if, if Scotland and America ever go to war, I'm in big trouble. That's all I'm saying. Really? You'd be fighting with yourself. Now you know what it's like to be a mental case like me. Yeah. I have so many voices. Yeah, I don't think you're a mental case. I think you just, you got, a, you got an issue with something. I have issue and I have medication and I'm all fine and happy. Do you, do you, do you take medication? I take a lot of medication. I'm medicated as we speak. Why is that funny? Why is I that am, funny? I take a lot of... 
Oh, I'm ah, 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 oh, poor hubby. Is that... Normally that would bother me, but I'm medicated. Yeah, <laughs> that's working. Now, uh, to enjoy the type of medicated products that Howie enjoys, take a look at these commercials. We'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back. I'm here with Howie Mandel. Hey, listen, you're Canadian. Do you, do you follow the hockey? Me? Time flies when you're sitting through the commercial oh, yeah, like that. Was really, fast, yeah. <laughs> that was really... But, uh, that, I it, didn't... It's I, because you're medicated. That actually was a long period of time. That was a, a full four minutes or something of commercial. No, but, it's yeah. got to be... You didn't... Yeah. You went to a commercial at home. We didn't. Oh, you yeah. just stopped and went back No, on. no, no. That this, was a long time. This show's live. <laughs> Is that true? Are you freaking me? Because the oh, truth is... Look, I, I, relax, all right? I'm, it's I'm fine. a hypochondriac. I thought we went to commercial, and then, bang, we were talking again. And yeah. It's like if you ever... You don't remember that time when you got up and you danced around during the commercial break? No. The audience was all clapping, and you were dancing around with your pants off? You don't even remember that? <laughs> so you saw. I am a Jew. Yeah. Okay, what are you pointing at? Cash prize? Cash. Uh, mouth organ? No. That's, that's never going to happen. Never going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awkward pause? No uh, contact there with awkward pause. Although you might have one of those time lapse things you had during the, the. I'll try for the money because it's well, in a bag. Well, you're not going to touch it. It's in a no, bag. But it's in a bag. But I could take that bag and trade it for clean. I give it to my wife. She, they, she can use the quarters in the laundry mat to wash my other money. You don't have a. You don't have a washing machine. You've got to be a millionaire. You don't have a washing. I know. You've got the laundromat. I do, but not in that last piece that I did. Fair enough. <laughs> you want to go over there? No, if you want me to, or not. I know. I'll. Do. Yeah, awkward. You want an awkward pause? Can I awkwardly pause and then decide on the money? <laughs> it's, the whole evening seems very awkward. I thought awkward you were pausing. Me. I thought you were pausing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. If this is the pause, then you shouldn't be talking. We should well, you, st you started talking. I'm answering you. You are a guest on my show. I'm trying to be polite. This is the noisiest pause I've ever been part of. <laughs> Maybe that's a new thing. Noisy pause. Not an awkward pause, noisy pause. That's like a mime who won't shut the hell up. Oh, or, or, a, or a very loud dog. I don't get that one. Noisy pause. <laughs> Here comes the dog. I got it. I love it. Hey, hey and that was clean too. <laughs> oh, the church people. All right, what time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the Big Cash Prize. Two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only right. Jeff knows what's in the box. If okay. you guess correctly, Jeff will tell us. If you guess incorrectly, I touch you, sneeze on you, and lick you. <laughs> or you can just answer a question. I'll answer. All right. Yeah. All right. That was an awkward pause. Yeah, it was. I, I kind of freaked you out, but I would never do that to no, you. No, no, I, 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 mean, I, mean, I know. I know you would. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its uh, capital city is Reykjavik. Correct. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now's your chance to win. Okay. Before it became popular as a toy, what was Play Doh used for? Was it B, a cleaning product? <laughs> you know, can I just tell you, Play Doh? I always get Play Doh and Silly Putty mixed up. And when I was a child, we didn't have money. Do you remember Silly Putty? Yeah. yeah, have, yeah. Did you have it as a kid? Well, in, in we Scotland? just we you know used what it was? potatoes. Well, I used. <laughs> we used, and you could put it on the comic strips. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have Play Doh. I used to, on hot, sweaty nights, I used to just press my testicles on the comic strips. <laughs> and that's no, where your jam thing comes from. It's a sexual shame thing. And the, if this, if there weren't church people here, I would show you Beetle Bailey right now. No! Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, what so be? Uh, before it became uh, popular as a toy, what was Play-Doh used for? Was it B, a cleaning product? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's all the choices? Um, I'll go with B. It is the right answer! <laughs> a host and an executive producer and a Canadian. He's got a new game show. He is. 
He's got a new game show called uh, Take It All Weeknights on NBC. Please welcome the adorable Howie Mandel, everybody. Howie Mandel. You know what's funny that you should say that? Because I was just backstage and you have another guest on the show, the lovely Olivia, Olivia Williams. Olivia Williams, yeah. She says that she knows you from oh, back yeah, in England yeah. and she said that she did a movie with you. This is what she told me and I have an image in my mind that I don't want, that you are a terrific salsa dancer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but uh, she's told me that like seriously, like you are a serious salsa dancer. I can really salsa dance. Yeah, I can salsa dance. Latinas love me. <laughs> Love me. Where? Because I know you get that. The smaller that woman's back, you take her across the floor like you mean it. They love you for life, man. I'm telling you. I, you gotta, you gotta I, do that. I had no idea. So well, I have that image in my head, and I got a song. And whenever I come here, it's like an experience. I have a song. You know how you hear a song and then you can't get it out of your head? Yes. That happened to me right what? here tonight. What's the song? I'm gonna do Christmas Christmas. That's my favorite. Come on, cost any money to sing it. And then the other thing is you using your testicles as puppets. You were talking yeah. about that. That's another image. That's I used to do something. You like touched that. me, man. You're getting well, better. You know, You're getting better. Hands. I am getting, I'm medicated. But you know yeah, what I right, used right, to right. do? I don't know if I could talk about this, but when I was a kid, can I, I'll, I'll, you, you'll let it if, if, it, if it doesn't work. We're but live, sometimes man, but I used, to, okay. I used to, I used to uh, uh, sit on the edge of the bed without pants on, and then you take a <laughs> pair of glasses, and you just rest a pair of glasses. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. Okay, and then you take a cigarette, and you put the cigarette, I put the cigarette between, <laughs> I, so the cigarette was being held, so it looked like there was a, like a long nose. <laughs> And there was a cigarette and glasses, and then if you move up and down on the bed, it looks like the little guy's talking. I didn't have friends. But... This is good. This is good. Sorry. I feel... Now, this I is, know you I... want to know what the embarrassing... I was once doing it. Then I was young. You know, I was in my room, and I'm doing that, and my mom walks in. My mom walks in. You know what she says to me? I'm so embarrassed, but she looks at me with, like, this, moving like that, and she looks at me, and she goes, You smoke? <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe she wasn't well, talking to you. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, I'm trying to cut down. Yeah, wow. yeah. I don't like them. No, I, I, was the cigarette lit? No. Uh, no, geez. I didn't even inhale. <laughs> hey, if you could, though, that would be a hell of a trick, if you don't mind me saying so. Now, that's, if you can't salsa dance, that comes a pretty good close second. If you can do that, yeah, it, it, girls will love it if you can just do that. If you can make your... Well, that's your, the great thing about being a guy. We have something. We have a friend. Right, right. Yeah, we, can, <laughs> we have a comedy prop at any point. We can, you know, stick a pair of glasses on it and yes. off you go. Yeah. And it's also a handle. It makes you feel safe. You're always... <laughs> you don't hang on. <laughs> don't you notice that in baseball or getting out of the shower? I'm always, whenever... Like when you're naked. Do you just stand? Do you just stand naked? Oh, you, you hang on. I always hang on. <laughs> Here's what I do when I'm naked. I just kind of lean. <laughs> a tripod. Yeah, a tripod. Oh, you're just a tripod. Lean. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> lean forward. That's because you spend more time excited than I am. Yeah. Well. It's, and I, I don't want to give away like secrets, but it was very funny. I saw the. No, no I won't tell. What about the? But you going to say something horse. about the horse? Yeah. Yeah. You want to say anything about Santa while you're here, you bastard? <laughs> No, that's, right. that's amazing. What a night. What a star-studded night a star to be here the night. same night as Ed and, his lovely, Ed and his lovely wife. Lovely Ed, wife. I didn't, know, I didn't know Santa's first name was Ed. Ed, I didn't know. Ed, Ed Claus. I grew yeah. up Jewish. They didn't tell us that. It's Ed, huh? Yeah, yeah. Ed, Ed, Ed Claus. Right. Ed Claus Boyd. Ed Claus Boyd and his RV. Yeah, yeah. So this is the new... This is the new set, yeah. yeah. Hey, tell me about your game show, by the way. You got a Take new game show? Take it all. Take it all? Is yes. it like, let's make a deal, but again? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, it's like, it's like, do you know what uh, Secret Santa, White Elephant, Yankee Swap? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that is? Yeah, it's a Secret Santa. You, you know, you give somebody a present, but you don't know what it is. 
Right, so there's a pile of presents. Right. They take one, then the next person comes out, they could take yours or they could take from the pile. Well, they so better not like, take mine or I'll punch them in the face. How about that? <laughs> that is not one of our rules. Okay. You can't punch, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can steal. And then ultimately, at the end of each round, who's ever holding the least valuable prize gets it taken away from them and they go home. Until there are two people left with a ton of prizes, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Cars, uh, hovercrafts. Hovercrafts? Yeah, hovercrafts? Yes. Wait. You'll never this, see prizes we, like this in your military life. Military equipment we're talking about yes. here? Yes, we wow. give prizes like you've never seen before. And then they face off against each other in what is known as a prisoner's dilemma. So they can say, and they're allowed to bluff. So they can say, listen, I'm a single father. I, I don't have a job. I have three kids. I want to keep my hovercraft. I want to go to Hawaii. I want this special. Do I'm go just gonna, yeah. Now their hands are on, a, on an iPad and they get to click in. They got two choices. Keep mine or take it all. So I'm going to keep mine. I just want to keep my stuff. Will you keep your stuff? Uh, sure. Okay, so you say sure. And then I was bluffing because I will go keep, take it all without you knowing. When it's revealed, you put keep mine. I put take it all. I take all mine. I take all yours. You have nothing. I have everything. This is awful. <laughs> well, this is an awful thing. This is like... Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it's, it's like a Nazis invented a no. game show. <laughs> Like, yeah, Sometimes. this game is called Take It All. I've got Poland. I will have Poland. No. no. No, but sometimes there's been nights where people say what they mean, and they mean what they say, and they keep it, and they go home. You have a choice. You can keep what you have, and you go home with your stuff. Yeah. You could try to convince I'm somebody. But I'm concerned, Howie, that bad behavior will be rewarded in this game. What is poker? When you bluff, when you bluff and you double down and everybody else, and then you take the ante and you had nothing in your hand, is that bad behavior? I never played poker. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I've it's done a, a, is, is it like a Rotterdam bugler? Is it a bit like that? <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is, but yeah. I have an image. Yeah, you do. I do. Yeah, you, do. <laughs> you just don't know it's called that, but you know I what do. it is. Like if I, was to, if I was to have one performed on you, you'd, re you'd recognize it. I don't want you to bugle my horn. I don't want you to. I mean, you're a gracious host, and that's, it's a nice offer, but no thank you. All right, then. Well, we're done. Hey, what, uh, can, I go, uh, can you, you smash a coconut? Uh, well, I wasn't going to smash a coconut. Okay, what do you want to do? It kind of goes over. Well, I've got this new thing where we okay. sit back, relax, and just take some me time. Okay. I just, it just started Before tonight. Before we do that, tell people to watch. It's only two more nights all of, right. of Take It All. Well, 9 o'clock after The Voice on Monday and tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. That's the last two, so it's an event. And yeah. now let's take some me time. How do two people take me time? <laughs> well, you put your hands on this thing and... Uh, somebody says me time and somebody else says me time, but I might be bluffing and then I take your time now. I gotta say, I wanna say that this show, unlike it, well, it's very different. I love doing this show because it's 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 fun and it's loose, but people don't understand that there is I, I think this show has less rules than most of the other shows. Mm -hmm. It does, right? Yes, yes I, I hope so. The moment it starts from the monologue and the way the rabbit speaks. Well, the rabbit, less, that's you, you can't. I know, even though you're bleeping, people at home could read his lips. Yeah, oh, yeah. But the thing is that uh, there's a lot of decisions you make on this show that you don't have to make on others. First of all, producer came backstage. This is not a joke. Producer came backstage and gave me a list to choose the color of mug I would like. They, they've got to have something to do. <laughs> what show would you like, a red mug or a green mug? I, you notice I have no... Oh, I did get a mug. I didn't ask for that. That's not the color I ordered. No, that's, that's the color we give people that don't choose a color. We give because them blue. Because I'm colorblind. Don't Are you colorblind? I am How many fingers am I holding up? The last thing she said before I went out, and if you give me rules, I don't want... What's the rule? What's the rule? Make sure that your eye contact is always with Craig. Who the hell am I talking to? Well, who else? Do they say that? They said that. So I don't want to... I don't want to... Why... Why is 
this, why is that an issue? Like, why is that, I've never hey, been hey, told it's, to... Hey, it's as much as an issue as eating a paper is a talent. It's not really a thing. It's just something on TV. I know, but the thing is, have you had this problem? Because I've been here before and I've never been told that. Is there, did you have, it's like Marty Feldman died. Was that a problem? Remember Marty Feldman? He had the goggly eye. Yes, yeah, so yeah. he had a wandering eye. Yeah, so yeah. If you have somebody with a wandering eye, then it's a problem. Otherwise, I don't see it's a problem. It's a good day for... I've been having a rough day. You know what? what? No, 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 please. Oh. You know what? You know what they're doing? They'll say, please. Howie, that's it. That, that bit's over. Move don't, on. Do yes, another right. bit. <laughs> Do another thing, Howie. Okay. That's not working. Remember, don't look directly at me. And I'm talking to the look people. At look, look at me. At me. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm talking look at me. to the people at home. Take your clothes off. Isn't that weird, though? Think about that. There are people, thousands of strangers. I, I would imagine you have thousands of viewers <laughs> at home. <laughs> at home. You wise ass. Well, <laughs> But there's people lying in their underpants just watching us talk, isn't that? That's the only reason I do the job, man. Really? I love it. Oh, my. Hi, you guys. Uh, I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> they really are. They're just... Yeah, no, it's all, it's all right. Hey, I'm wearing Miracle socks. I just bought... Let me see them. I bought, I bought the socks, and on the box it said Miracle socks. What, 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 I'm gonna, what can you... I'm going to try to turn that into wine. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Wait, wait. They don't, oh, all right. Can't rush a miracle. Hey, See, I doing, can't do hey, a miracle wait, and you're look doing directly. That. I gotta look. <laughs> yeah, <I> got <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> all right, there you go. Hey, you, you don't have any laces in your shoes there, buddy. I don't have laces. You know that. That's my... Uh, oh, that's another one of your things. That's my OCD. Listen, I, because well, they fall on the use... floor. They fall... You, I don't touch that. I don't touch... I won't even touch my own testicles. <laughs> I've reached a point in my career where I have other people to do that. <laughs> I have a... can, you, uh, can, you, can you fix me up with some of that? Because... I find I'm touching mine every day. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it's kind of like an addiction. I, I think I need uh, other people to touch them for me. Oh, you don't have a ball handler? No. You don't I have that? Well, define that. Someone who touches them or who handles them. I have someone handles who represents them. them. You have a... Right. Really? Craig's balls will be available to, uh, you know, appear no, at your charity function for a price. When you were talking about bedazzling your balls, I was just staring at this. I was staring yeah. at that thing. That's, thinking, that's, what, that's what happened. That, that was the one I did. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I do. And you put that, it on a pedestal. Do you, you know your testicles, do I do know my testicles. Right. right. Well, you, I don't know. You don't, well, you don't we, touch them anymore. We hang so. out each and every day. Right. You know how, what? Do you have one high and lower and the other? Uh, no. One forward and one back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, do you find you walk in circles a lot? <laughs> You know, as a kid, we didn't, I don't know if you had this in Scotland. Did you have, uh, maybe I talked about this on the show. Did you ever have Silly Putty? Do you know what Silly Putty oh, is? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, so yeah. Silly Putty, what you used to do is you take the Sunday comics and you could put the Silly Putty on the Sunday comics and it would, I've reached a point in my career where I have other people to do that. I have a, can you, uh, can you, can you fix me up with some of that? Because I find I'm touching mine every day. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of like an addiction. I, I think I need uh, other people to touch them for me. Oh, you don't have a ball handler? No. You don't I, have that? Well, define that. Someone who touches them or who handles them. I have someone handles who represents them. them. You have a... Right. Really? Craig's balls will be available to, uh, you know, appear no, at your charity function for a price. When you were talking about bedazzling your balls, I was just staring at this. I was staring uh, at uh, that thing. That's, thinking, that's, what, that's what happened. That, that was the one I did. Really? Yeah. And, I, do you and know you put that, it on a pedestal. Do you, you know your testicles, do you? I do know my testicles. Right. right. Well, you, I don't know. You don't, well, you don't touch we, them anymore. We hang so. out each and every day. Right. You know how, what, do you have one high and lower and the other? Uh, no, one forward and one back. Wow. <laughs> that, do you find you walk in circles a lot? <laughs> You know, as a kid, we didn't, I don't know if you had this in Scotland. Did you have, uh, maybe I talked about this on the show. Did you ever have Silly Putty? Do you know what Silly Putty oh, is? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, so yeah. Silly Putty, what you used to do is you used to take the Sunday comics and you could put the, the Silly Putty on the Sunday comics and it would come off there. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. when I was a kid, my parents wouldn't buy me Silly Putty, so I used to do it with my own testicles. Oh, and I, okay. Yes. Do you, so you to, still have... Uh, I've got Beetle Bailey right nice. there. I tell very nice. Yeah. You, what? you know what? You laugh now, but I bet you everybody's going to go home and try. There's guys getting out of bed right now. There are people getting out of bed going, honey, get me the comic strips. I got to.
<laughs> I don't know. I've only got one left. That one's there. I don't want to risk the other one by putting pressing it against. No, comic but it's strips. funny little comic strips. Little so you're jokes. saying to me you've pressed your testicles against comics earlier in your life? Comic strip. Ah! Yes. I, I did. you really eat that red hot pepper? Thing? I did. Yeah, was, you know why? Why? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes. That's me. You're an idiot. I didn't think. You know, I have severe. I besides OCD, I've got all. Uh, I have ADHD too, and part of ADHD, people talk about not being able to. Uh, look at the horse. <laughs> No, anyway, but the a big problem is you, you don't think... You see what he did? You, you see, see what, what he I did? did? What he did was the people with ADHD, they have this thing where they... <laughs> anyway, I'm, yeah. uh, I, uh, I don't think of the ramifications of things. So I do things, and then I don't... That makes you a good comic, though. That makes you a good comedian. You go out there and But you I get in a lot stuff. of trouble. Well, that's what makes you a good comedian, too. You're going to get... Yeah, because trouble. I don't think right, about well, what I'm And that makes you a great comedian. <laughs> Thank don't, you. You don't, you don't need to think or, or worry about your actions. Now I'm thinking about not thinking and worrying. I think you worry too much. <laughs> you right there. You I'm did it. And you no, didn't look me in the eye. I'm, I'm worried sorry. about that. I am worried. This is like a really bad have no psychiatric idea. session. I go to them a lot, and I gonna, I'm gonna just. Are you in ther therapy? Yes. Let's well, take a break in the moment. No, oh yes, you are. I am. Yeah. I am. We'll take a break, I, and when we come back, I'll right. be your therapist, and we'll do some therapy. All right. When we come back. I got him up the chimneys, he's fine. Welcome back, everybody. I'm oh. here with Harry Mandel, who's my patient, because now what we're going to do is we're going to do some okay. therapy. Like, you know how uh, Jimmy Fallon does beer pong? Okay. Right, well, it's going to be like beer pong, except there's no beer, there's no pong, it's me and you, and it's a psychiatric session. Are you being serious? Absolutely. No, I'm your therapist. I do this, like, three I, times I a week. Do okay. Are you medicated? <laughs> no, I am. I don't think it's appropriate that you ask me that as your therapist. That, uh, let me ask you, are you medicated? Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Yes, I am. So what happened to you? Why are you afraid? Were you attacked by a germ when you were young? You know, that's not a, it's a true story. Were you were attacked by a germ? I was. What kind no, of you know, OCD is a chemical imbalance, and, and I have that, but, but I, my, they've traced it back to a trigger. You want to hear, a tr this is a real trigger that triggered me. Trigger I, is a different type of horse. <laughs> When I was a little boy, this is not a funny story. When I was a little boy, my parents took me to the beach and I got bit by a sand fly. They're horrible. Well, I don't, I've never even seen one, but I was told that I was bit by one. And then I got these, it looked like mosquito bites all over my b body. And then I'd scratch them. They were itchy. I would scratch it and then it would move under my skin. It laid its eggs, its larva in me. So I had all this crap just crawling around under my skin. And from that, I think I was traumatized. From that time on, I, everything I touch feels kind of ooky. Now, what I've done is I've been able to take a late night fun crowd and just freak them out and bring them down to nothing. <laughs> So that sand no, fly, wait, wait, no, that wait. sand fly is still affecting not only no. me but everyone. But here's the thing: I I was never bitten by a sand fly ever in my life. I I never once have any problem with sand fly or touching things. I'll touch anything you got. But I can still, I can still take a fun late night crowd and bring them down. Can you do that? Every damn night. Really? Yeah. That's the beauty of you. That's your niche. That's that's, that's my thing. That's when they come to write the history of late, late night. They'll say, and that guy, he could really sadden you up. Right. <laughs> but you know what? I, but but now I'm a happy guy because there's nothing has uh, laid in me. Nothing has laid any eggs in me. I've got nothing. That we in know me. of, Harry. I've got nothing that in me. That we know of. I don't even have a hamster in me. What are the stories? <laughs>
Thank you. Howie, 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 you look sensational. Thank you. You know, when you think, I said to somebody, they said, why did you watch a show? Like, what do you got? And I said, Heidi Klum and nudity. Yeah. But I you didn't did... tell them it wasn't together. Yeah, yeah. But it was Heidi Klum and a little short, hairy, naked man. Well, you see, I'm in the his demographic of that. I'm like, that's okay. That kind of works for me. Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to say his name, Vic Cohen. I said, would you do that? Would you get naked on our show? Only if you promote it. Vic Cohen, can you imagine? That? You've got naked Vic Cohen? How did you? You must have spent a lot of money. Oh, like you wouldn't spend that kind of money to have him here. Anyway, I have to say... <laughs> That it's great to be back. Really? Are you sure? I, I enjoy know. this I, show. I, really? I don't know. Yes. Sometimes I think you mock me when you I'm not talking. mocking you. You, really you know what I like about the show? And I'm not, I'm not kidding. There's a doilies back. You're very, like, yes. European. It's like Downton Abbey back there. It's there is. Like, yeah. There's an actual doily. And I never, I heard the term doily. I've yeah. never bought a doily. I've never been in any place. Well, you would like doilies. because What you are put doilies that, for? There's, there's a germ thing. You put them down and it stops germs transmitting. No. Through. Yes. No, no. Yes. Doilies are, they have holes. They they have so holes. the germs can't get through to baffle the germs. The germs are like, ah, we'll cling on to this. And then they see the holes are like, oh. Like we would put down a tissue. A tissue. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> you got me. Yeah. But a, ti a, a doily is a tissue with holes. To, what's... That's a cloth. Right, yeah. But do you know what a doily? You said yeah, it's, it's, like one of, it's like one of these. But I know what a doily is. I'm from Britain. But you got them all over the back. They're yes, the I back. know. They breed back there. The conditions are right for them. Doilies. Whatever there's dampness and politeness combined, doilies <laughs> breed. Right, and why do you have a cloth? Why do you have a white cloth? Because I go, watch, I do this. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. So, uh, how long are you in town, stranger? Oh my God, it's so weird. You yeah, know? yeah, a little weird, yeah. I've seen you do that on TV, but when you're in yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It has a whole different. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I like your jacket, that's yeah. skin tight. That's one of them skin tight jackets, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, just. You don't know that for me, watching somebody clean something is yeah. like porn. <laughs> So you still got that thing? What? You still got the thing with the yeah, clean? Yeah, yeah. But that is, that's like I, if I see somebody wearing like a hospital gown and, and a mask and those booties, to me, that's better than lingerie. Dude, you need therapy. I do. Yeah. And I'm here I to give it to you. I have it. But you yeah, can do. Do you, do you go to therapy? I you do get go to therapy. I do, oh, too. You can talk to me. Go I ahead. think, no. <laughs> All right. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. What's my well, problem? I'm looking right up at your pants. It looks like you have a kind of I got a map going on over there. That looks <laughs> you know what it is? What? Those are not the pants. I put my thong on backwards. Uh, we've all done that. <laughs> I get there. I love therapy. It's awesome. I do like yeah, it. Yeah, no. I'd, if I did, I'd be a mess without it. I'm a mess with it, but I'd be even worse without it. Really? How yeah. often do you go? Once a week now. Do you? And yeah. do you sit with the pipe and lean no, back? No, 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 no. I'm not the therapist. No, I know. But have you ever met a therapist, that, I mean, that has that done that? a pipe? No. In fact, if I went to a therapist that sat back and smoked a pipe like that, I'd be like, I'm going to find a different therapist. This right. This person's clearly a charlatan. Look, they have a studio audience and everything. <laughs> Share my thoughts. Yeah. I, would, I would actually be more, I'm more comfortable in front of an audience than I am by myself. So I, if my therapist yeah. would get a studio audience, I would be more open. No, no, you wouldn't. You, what you would do is you'd start performing and you would actually do the opposite of what you need to do, which is to go deep and find out what's, you know, causing this. How much deeper can you get than Venus Nitro? Yeah, well... <laughs> can we say this? We can't say we it? can't say Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. This man is Canadian! <laughs> he can say anything he wants about Moose. Why can you say... You can say... Ow. Oh. But you can't can say... say Ooh la la. la. No, you you're can't lying. say the camel one either? The guy you're talking to, does he work here? I'm not sure, actually. Okay. I, I think he just turns up with that podium and gives himself a sense of power. Yes, that's what it is, a podium. Yeah, he just a has podium, a, Is yeah. he wearing pants? Probably not. He, d he doesn't want to get one of those things we were talking about. You know, when the moose, you know, see when a moose, when you, you're Canadian, so you've yes. seen a moose close oh, up, who right? Who hasn't? Right. So a moose, when it has it down near its hooves, that has little bumps, what are these bumps called? Knuc knuckles, right? All oh, right, can we say that? <laughs> <laughs> see, when you're talking about the actual thing you're talking about, right. you can talk about it. But if you, it's some kind of weird sexual reference or slang, then you can't. That's the rules. Creased testes. Creased testes. That? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Yes.
Why Chris though? Uh, well, oh, because, because of, of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I see. No, I get it. Now. To me, they're not a pretty thing to talk about anyway. It's like God gave up at the end, that once he created whatever he was creating. Yeah, and then just tied it all up to the end. That's it. <laughs> it's like a to-go bag. <laughs> it's a, oh, oh, I forgot. It's One more thing. It's good to see you, man. It's good great. Is this a goodbye? No, no, no. It's a, oh. it's a commercial break, though. I have to, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm tired out. I can't keep going. Take a break, yeah. and then I'm going to talk about some more stuff. <laughs> We're talking about. Oh, we're about. We're talking about our kids. Yeah, one's left in college. One uh, is a teacher, and then one, my son, works with me, and he vlogs. He vlogs at, with a, the, a, at Alex Mandel. Go to his vlog site. He vlogs. He, you know, he. he it's it, a blog, but in a video in, form. In video, and he does great. He's come up with something that's actually taking off. Really? He does uh, sober, drunk texting. <laughs> He does. You well, tell me what it is. Well, what he it is. acts like he's drunk. Like, say there's a woman that he's got an eye on that he wants to... So you think you can say things when you're drunk. So he goes, hey, you know, hey, I'm thinking I'm doing you. And they, like, he just types all this stuff. And they go, well, you've obviously partied too much. Relax. I just want to come over. And they go, okay. And then, but now he can drive. So ah, he does. I see. So but he can he go. he fakes like he's drunk. So he can say whatever he wants, and then he goes... Wait, wait, gets, wait, wait, this isn't honest. This isn't the way to start a no, relationship. No, my son is so dishonest. I love him for that. He is the most... <laughs> I raised... <laughs> I'm living There's vicariously no... through my son. Well, you Alex, know, you, I mean, no. if he, this thing takes off, he doesn't, you don't have to work anymore. You can relax. That's... Uh, you wouldn't be able to do that, though. I can't relax. No. No, if I spend a moment with me... Then it's not. That's why I run. So I run a lot. You right? It was good to see you're looking very thin. Are you running? Well, I a lot? am. I'm running a lot. I run seven miles a day. It's getting home that's so tough, because I'm always seven miles from the house. Well, you don't, you know, run run around the house. Take a circuit. Then run. I'd look like an idiot. So I just run. And well, then I the thought. Can you pick? Can you pick me up? I'm on Fairfax. What have you been doing? I'm, I run and then I get tired and then I call people for a lift home. That's what I do. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. The people that don't like me in the car because I'm very sweaty after seven miles. Well, you see, I now sweat. you wouldn't like that because you're you got a problem with people being sweaty near you. I know. Look, yeah. look. If I get near you, like you don't but like I don't that. You're sweating. Well, I'm not sweating. That's, I got my doily right here. That's why. I, uh, that is a doily. See that? That's that. I can't sit for a minute. We were just in Hawaii, which was uh, uh, supposed to be relaxing, and I actually took a hula class. I took a... Why is that funny? Because... You know you could tell a story with your hands? I didn't learn that. I could tell a story with one finger. But I'm learning how to use can the whole... Can you say that? You can say that, right? You just can't do it. Yes. Yeah, right. No, but they, you actually... There's a whole story. There's a whole Hawaiian... Oh, yes. Oh, there's yes. A, have you heard this one? <laughs> have you heard this one? <laughs> no! Yeah, now I, I've just recently become more so. I have to touch wood six times. Six <clears throat> times for some reason. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, and I have to make everyone around me do it as well. Is this some kind of code for something? <laughs> <laughs> you really? That, that's that's yeah. not superstition, Emily. That's, that's OCD. you got a problem. That, it probably is. No, it is. No, yeah. it is. You've got you to go and see, uh, uh, get some therapy for that. <laughs> no, you really. You're, or you'll end up completely heavy man down. But you you, you got to. Oh, that. With that yeah, 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 no, and, and all the kind of, uh, do you do that? I don't, I do, don't know. I don't know. If someone convinced, I get really scared of like handshakes and fist pumps, and I always feel like I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I never said, what? I have no idea what you You went like this. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, my face suddenly lapses into that sometimes. <laughs> fist pumps. No. <laughs> It's innocent. It's like, it's what we Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, um, you don't like all of that, then. No, I get really... If someone comes in for, like... Do you know what I mean? When someone comes in for a handshake, oh, yeah, you get scared five. that you're going to, like, miss it or something. Well, that's all right. No one expects you to make it all the time. It's true. No, <laughs> just make some... Just pretend that you were going to do that anyway. So if you miss, yeah. you go, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's true. I'm worried about you, though, with your OCD. We have I to know. get you a good therapist. Are but you in therapy? It's very recent. No, no, no well, I'm that's not. A, there's a problem. But it's right a now. recent thing. <laughs> 
Well, you gotta go. You gotta go. Well, let's try it now. All right. All right. Say uh, something that is scary. I'm the therapist. I right, control okay. the session. Okay, go. Right there. <laughs> right there is your problem. <laughs> you're, you're looking for control in a universe yes. which is perhaps a little more chaotic than you would have it. Oh, that's probably true. Was that what you were just saying to me as a therapist? Yeah. You were very convincing because I was waiting for you to play the part of the, of the therapist. I'm, I'm doing said, it right now. It was very Oh, good. would you like a... Are you, are you probably want an Austrian accent. I just more accent. of a... Yeah, yeah, yeah right. more of a voice, yeah. So when uh, did you first start to touch the objects? <laughs> when did I first start to touch... Uh, you know, this... Uh, <laughs> you like to uh, touch the wood? <laughs> touching wood. So, and you like to touch the wood six times? Yeah, each. Every piece of wood I see. How much wood do you see? A lot. <laughs> well, first of all, let me congratulate you on your wood finding capabilities. <laughs> Perhaps a career as a lumberjack would interest you. <laughs> but see, now this is helping. That's very good. It's yeah. helping me anyway. Now I, I feel really stupid for touching wood. Never feel stupid for touching wood. <laughs> Never. It's true. No, do but not. But you've got to be limited with it, you know? Well, okay, you know, it's, you set your own boundaries, so yes, absolutely. But, it's, uh, you know, it, it's. I think that it is, there's a deeper problem there, absolutely. You've got to look at it. It's weird that it only started recently. No, you know? has there been anything in your life happened recently, a big event? Well, not like, I mean... Not that it was scary, you know. It doesn't have to be scary. It can just be change. Do you know the first time I did it, actually, was I went scuba diving with sharks. And I started doing it then. Well, Maybe yeah, that they're right was there. Why. It's fear. It's, yeah. They're absolutely fear. Have you You're ever done that? Have what, you ever scuba diving with sharks? Yeah. All the time. And touched wood. <laughs> I've got to be time. honest, I've touched wood more than I've been scuba diving with sharks. <laughs> but I have done both. And recently. Really? Yeah. <laughs> where, uh, where did you go scuba diving with Bora, sharks? Bora Bora. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds nice. And I was a bit, I had kind of a sleepless night before, and yeah. then, you know, you jump in, and it, the water's so clear there, mm. and you just peek down, and they're just everywhere. Well, everywhere. look, have you ever taken LSD? <laughs> no. All right, I have a lot. Uh, Did let you me... go scuba diving on it? No, I never went scuba diving on it, but I've taken it, I took it a lot when I was younger, and, and, I, and then I, when I older, when I, oh, oh, CBS cares. Uh, <laughs> And I, uh, I'm not recommending that at all, by the way. I mean, really, I'm not. Honestly. But, um, but then I learned to scuba dive later in life. And I, and I when I uh, went scuba diving and I came back from every dive that I came back from, it was a little bit like taking acid, in the sense that you come back, but you're never quite the same again. No, because you have the spins a bit. Yeah, something happens But did you come, maybe you went up too quick, because that's what happens if you go up too quick, you No, get it's not spins. a physiological thing. I think it's more than that. I think it's existential. It, yeah, absolutely existential. I think it's an amazing experience, and it's I was fantastic. really a victim of Spielberg. I mean, I had not, I did not want to go in the ocean for mm, sure. That's, that's not Stephen's fault. Well, he is because he did Jaws. Oh, the, the Jaws movie? Yeah. Right, this is a guy trying to make a buck. <laughs> and it actually is one of my favourite movies. It's a great movie. Amazing. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I was really, I think maybe what I loved about scuba diving is that everything slows down when you're underneath there. Like mm. you, all you hear is like, and that's here we are it. back and at acid like... again, right there. <laughs> Yeah. It's, I think there's a correlation. I think it's you should look at this. What, taking LSD? No, gosh, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, I really honestly don't do that. That's, I wish I'd never done it. Really? Oh, it's terrible business. Really? How many what years did to you me? do? <laughs> you turned I, out all I right. Could have, I could have been somebody. <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. We have, okay. to sell, we have to sell stuff. So, um, uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? Obviously, mouth organ after the word talk. Let's do that. All right, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's your one. This is. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, th that one's clean. This one's got my boogers all over it. Why would it have your boogers on it? Because that's where I store you them. Shove it up your yeah. nose. Oh, look, it's brand new. It's brand spanking new. Do I get to keep it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. You can take it to your therapist. What should we play? <laughs> which end do you blow? <laughs> You know fine well which end you blow. Now go on. <laughs> Can um, you play? No, but we're going to give it a crack. I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> Do you cover it like that as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just well, you're not going to top that. Emily Blunt, everyone.